Okay guys, um, there was so much to get through with the tutorials, I completely forgot about something, uh, and this is going to be a problem that you will run into, uh, which is, there's a problem, or there's a quirk, or a bug, or whatever you want to call it, when you try to control auxiliary channel strips or output channel strips from the BCF. Okay, so if you look on the mixer, I've got my 14 audio tracks in the arrange page and they've got all their mixer strips here and I've added in two auxiliaries that are handling these two auxiliary sends bus 1 and bus 2 okay so I've got two auxiliary channel strips and uh, this one's got a, an EQ and a delay on it for send number 1 and this has got an EQ and a reverb on it for send number 2 so I've set up a typical old-school hardware basic mix where I've got you know you you send out from any of the channels on bus 1 to add some delay and on bus 2 if you want to add some reverb and then the reverb and delay returns back into the mix from these two channel strips and everything goes to the final output and the final output master channel strip I've put a channel EQ on it and a multi compressor and a stereo spread okay so the two auxiliary channel strips and the output have got plugins inserted All right. So here's the problem. The channel select button on the BCF. Okay, whenever we, let's say we've selected channel one. Okay, channel strip one on the mixer is selected. The red LED on the channel select button for that channel strip is highlighted. So if I then go into EQ mic, uh, channel view, I'm opening the EQ for that highlighted channel strip, which has got the red LED lamp illuminated. All right. Same for channel number two. Open the EQ into channel view and it's opened the EQ for this channel strip because that's the one that's got the channel select lamp illuminated. All right. Go up to the next bank. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now watch this one. I've tried to select the first auxiliary channel strip. It selects in logic when I press its button here, but the button doesn't become latched and highlighted. Same for auxiliary two. If I step up, auxiliary 1, auxiliary 2, output, I can select them with the channel select button on the BCF, but the button doesn't become latched and illuminated. It sticks on the last regular channel strip. In other words, it stick, the last lamp that is illuminated is, is the last channel strip It'll, you know, you can only get the lamp, the channel select lamp, to latch and illuminate for channel strips that are channel strips for tracks in the arrangement here. Now, I don't think this has got anything to do with the fact that the mix is set here in a range. It doesn't. If you can switch it to all, which brings in additional things like inputs or um, pre-listen channel strips or things like that, uh, all shows you everything in your mixer. A range shows you just channel strips for things that are in the arrangement here in this arrange uh, stack. Okay, you can actually select all or arrange using this lower right hand button there, but just leave it always in a range. Right, this has got nothing to do with that. Okay, the problem is this I can select any channel strip for a track that's in my arrangement here, but I cannot, I can, I can, I can press. The channel select buttons for the auxiliaries and the outputs and they become selected in Logic's mixer but they do not become selected and latched on the BCF. Okay, And there's the problem because to open say EQ in channel view it, it will open the EQ for the, for the highlighted channel strip in the BCF. Same with plugins. If I go to plugin mixer view Okay, uh, sorry, rather plug-in channel view uninitialized. These are now the eight plug-in slots for the selected channel strip. So this channel strip is selected on the BCF. It's audio 13. The, these, therefore, are the eight plug-in slots for the selected and highlighted channel strip on the BCF. That'll open plug-in slot one, plug-in slot two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for this highlighted and selected channel strip. So if I press this pot here as a button it will open the second plug-in for this channel strip which is selected which is the compressor and it does all right there's the compressor but the problem is this I'll step up all right and now it's opened the second plug-in slot 
comes to them plug in channel view and initialize right okay step up to the auxiliary and let's now try and open the EQ for the auxiliary it's selected in logic look you can see there it's selected and highlighted in logic but not on the BCF okay on the BCF the last audio track here is still selected that one so I select the auxiliary channel strip it selects in the logic mixer but the channel select lamp in the BCF doesn't become latched and highlighted so if I go into EQ channel view it opens the EQ for the selected channel strip which is the last audio one in other words we can't open the EQ for this auxiliary channel strip because we can't get its lamp to latch on the BCF it's the same for plugins same for sends and it's also the same on the output channel strips you can't open the EQ because it opens for the whichever channel strip on the BCF has become is highlighted and that you can't highlight the auxiliaries and the outputs all right do you see the problem okay as I said it's got nothing to do with this all or arrange <coughs> now if when you go to select with your BCF you can select the channel strips like that but as soon as you try and select an auxiliary or an output you won't get the button to latch here but also it may not highlight in the mixer here in white okay if it that's a graphic bug if you if when you press an auxiliary or an output channel strip select button it doesn't become highlighted in logic that's a graphic bug you need to make sure your mixer is full height God, considering Macs are supposed to be like the premier machine for graphics honestly the amount of graphics bugs is ridiculous just open and close your mixer again and then they should highlight when you select with the BCF but even if you can make them highlight in white on the BCF mixer um, on the logic mixer you will not get them to latch on the BCF okay so that's your problem to open the EQ or the plugins or operate the sends from the BCF for auxiliaries and outputs you've got to first be able to get their channel select button here to latch and it doesn't and the reason for that is is that the BCF follows the arrange page stack here okay the only things that you can select with the channel select lamp in the BCF are things that are in your arrange stack so to control and get full access to your auxiliaries and output channel strips in your logic mixer you need to do this you hold down shift and highlight as many output channel strips whether they're auxiliaries or actual outputs that you want to control from the BCF all right and I'm not talking about things basic things like the fader and the pan okay oops wrong one we need key, sorry the fader and the pan those are still accessible look okay and so are the mutes yeah oh, mutes and so are the solos okay you can do all that you can solo and mute and use the faders and the pan but you can't access things like the plug-in slots or the sends or the EQ so what you need to do is you need to select all the output channel strips whether auxiliaries or outputs or the master as well that you want to be able to access those additional features beyond fader and pan and the basics from the BCF and then with them highlighted you just hold down control and left click anywhere on the grey area of one of those channel strips and you want to choose create select arrange track okay and while we're at it notice there's this control surface bars ticked here that's what makes the white line underline along there so always make sure that's ticked for your mixer generally if you want this white underline right okay so we're going to now create select arrange tracks for these channel strips in other words it's going to create tracks here in the arrange stack for these channel strips so you left click that menu item bash there you go and now in our arrange stack we've got auxiliary one auxiliary two the output and the master as tracks and now let me just un highlight these right now look I can select my tracks and my auxiliaries and now the red LED latches okay so that means I can now go to my auxiliary channel strip here it is not only selected in logic but it is selected on the BCF as well and now you can see it's not only highlighted in white which means that it's selected in logics mixer 
okay but it's also shrouded all the way around in green which means it's selected on the BCF as well and now that this channel strip lamp for the auxiliary is highlighted in the BCF I can now open its EQ there you go there's the EQ open for the auxiliary one channel strip and just like with regular channels if I now switch to the second auxiliary it will switch to its channel EQ and again if I switch to the output it will switch to its channel EQ okay so we've now got full access to our EQs just like regular channels by adding the additional channel strips into our range stack here okay let's close that and it's the same for plugins okay I'll go into plugins channel view uninitialized I've got auxiliary 2 selected okay so that means Auxiliary 2 is selected on the BCF, the lamp is lit for the Auxiliary 2 channel strip, so therefore in Plugins Channel View Uninitialized, these are the 8 plugin slots for this selected and highlighted channel strip, which is the Auxiliary 2. So this will open first plugin, second plugin, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth plugin on this selected channel strip. So pressing this pot as a button will open the second plugin, the goal verb. And there's the goal verb open and ready to edit. Okay, see, see how it works. And this works the same. If I now switch to the next, uh, the previous auxiliary, it will switch to its second plugin. There you go, the stereo delay, and back to the goal verb. And now, if I go to the master, um, the output channel, that one, it's got a multi press on its second plugin slot, and it will switch to that one. I select that channel. And now we're editing the multi compressor. See what I mean? So now we've got full access to all our plugins our EQ and our sends just like regular channel strips the answer to that problem is that you have to add any auxiliary and output channel strips into your arrange stack here okay and the added bonus of course of that is that you have everything set up now to do automation for your auxiliaries uh, and your outputs for example if I put the track automation on and this is my output here um, you know you can do a song fade out at the end of the song all right, that's a that's not how I do a fade out but there you go there's a basic fade out uh, you know and as we hit play there's the master output channel strip fading out okay so you know it has a double purpose as well in the allows you know it not only gives you access to the parameters for your auxiliaries and outputs from the BCF by adding the auxiliaries and outputs into the arrange stack here but it also means that they're ready to do automation as well and remember you can automate all the parameters of your auxiliaries and your outputs okay so oh and the other thing is if you don't want them uh, cluttering up your arrangement uh, well you can just like switch on this green H here hide button and then the hide button appears on every track header here in this track list column right then just tick the auxiliaries and the outputs so the H button is green and then click the master H button a second time so it becomes orange and now those tracks are hidden so they're no longer cluttering up your range stack here but they're still in the mixer and they're still fully selectable and controllable so I'm going to open the uh, channel EQ on my output there you go and there's the channel EQ opened on my output um, ready to uh, ready to edit mm -hmm. okay so there you go that's how to control auxiliaries and outputs from the BCF fully and it's the same whether you're using two units all that happens is it just doubles up the pots along the top okay alrighty I thought I'd better add that one in